<laughs> so can we keep it? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I'd say yes. Yeah. That's a no-brainer. No, we don't want a mulligan. No, we do not want a mulligan. Martin179 says hello and good knock. No good good knock. Jeez. Good. <laughs> wow. I'm going to actually take the high road and give him a hello and good luck. Rather than a nice play. I've lost all faith in you. <laughs> if it took this long. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the question. Do we carapace forger uh, to get two force attacking or do we sphere of the sun? Mm, don't indeed. like that. Don't like it all. I think we carapace forger. Just to have something to chump block the infector. Uh, three no, three, I th I mean I think we. If he's dealing two and he's dealing one, we're at the same. One infect is better than two damage. No, it's exactly the same. No, it is not because you cannot proliferate regular damage at the same rate you can pro proliferate poison counters. It is presuming he has proliferate better. Presuming that we don't, don't have a... play infect without proliferate. Okay, that's bullshit. Lots of people do. Because not it's effectively. Flat. Not effectively. And you don't know what you're going to get. And yeah, this guy's. This guy's all over the board. Yeah, he's. We're seeing a lot of. Oh, he's a tweener. He's a tweener. <laughs> you're a you're a tweener. You're like the like the wiener half of that. <laughs> uh, now don't forget that at the end of his turn, yes. you want to use that. Or, you know, in the middle of his turn. At any point during his turn. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even going to fake that I have anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> and now he's beating us on infect. And damage. That wall, that's just showing off. <laughs> Seriously. Like, I choose to beat you in all sorts of ways. Like, that's starting to get annoying. Yeah. Oh, we had a card that would wipe out the board. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Okay. I don't um, know what that would be. Only Bob wasn't here. <laughs> <laughs> Should. Yeah, let's... Oh, uh, we're effed. It's, it's, it's good to know that, you know, anything Tangle happens, you give it up. I'm not giving it up. Look at that shit. Yeah. We do not have a advantageous board state, but... Wouldn't it have been better to put out the Pierce Strider? I want the Pierce Strider to make right. him into a 4-4. Four four. Right. So I am willing to chump block somewhat the Air Mirror... I'll still have a guy who can chump block again later. Fair enough. Now the cathedral membrane. I don't know if I just attack with the Caribus Forger. Ugh. Oh, he took that. <sighs> oh, very bad. Equipped creature indestructible. And he has this guy who can just but you know, slowly kill us. We can still exile it. Yes, the dark steel plate. We can exile. And we could bleaching bite into a. It won't matter if we don't get rid of that damn infector. Well, yeah, that's who you can kill. Get the Legion Bite, the Blighted Agent, to buy us time. I mean, we can't do that with two planes. Yeah. But. Or with a gold mirror. Well, you know. Uh, so, um, I, forgot, I almost forgot to say a funny story. Oh, God. Uh, so I'm going out, you know, I'm choosing, uh, I'm choosing uh, today's, you know, beer, feature beer, you know, the New Beach, which, by the way, is very good. Mm -hmm. uh, a little, It's a little peppery, I think, for my taste. You, you keep saying but peppery, and I'm not tasting it. I'm telling you, dude, how do you not taste it? We just got Blue Sun uh, Zenith again. I fucking hate these guys. I don't like that card. 
You know, Zenith, your ass. We need to we need to learn to take that card just so that people don't use it we against have, us. We have to see it in order to take it. Yeah. Didn't we not? Didn't um, we see it and not take it? Was uh, it like our opening card? No, no, no. That no, was, was last black, time. That was black Sun Zenith. Oh, okay. And we, we did, did take it. it and it's <laughs> we just didn't it. play it. Well, you know, we're awesome. We're awesome like that. That's exactly yeah. the kind of awesome we're like. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm at the uh, the Still, right, which is a local liquor store here. It's got the largest variety and all that. Looking for specialty stuff. And uh, there was a woman there about my age, maybe a little younger. Mm -hmm. She was actively asking and looking for check bar. No. Yes. Uh, did you tell her that's a huge mistake? I, I, I walked up, I slapped her in the face. Oh, you're a liar. <laughs> Well, no, well, in my head I did, but she was she, actually she was not she asking. was searching for check bar and they didn't have it, probably because it sucks ass <laughs> and is impossible to open. Watch episode what fifteen, I believe. I I think it's fifteen. It's post Devastator. I know that. Yeah. Uh, so Devastator was fourteen, uh, but draft beer fifteen, I think, was. Check bar. Man, watch that. In, this is rough. Wow. So I, yeah, we're in reamed. Okay. I so, can't imagine like the inventor of check bar asking for check bar. Yeah, and well, that's it, terrible. See, what and you, she was like, she was disappointed they didn't have it. See what you should just should have told her. Okay, look, there's some Budweiser. That's all it is. Just get that. No, I I chose to slap her in her stupid face and ridicule and mock her children who were standing next to her. Mm -hmm. Oh, she, that's she right. Her. She brought children to a liquor store. Nice, classy check bar breaker. <laughs> I love that was an official <laughs> beer. So we also are check bar drinkers. No, not regulars. No, we drink check bar. We do not drink check bar. <laughs> there is a difference, according to Bob. Yeah. Well, I, no, I, he's not wrong, except for my next New Year's party is <laughs> check bar exclusive. <laughs> oh God! Oh no! <laughs> I want to drink. I want to drink Skunky Budweiser yeah. for the next. Well, oh. you know, on the, on the flip, on the upside, we're at twenty three life, and down so we're at seven poison. Oh, we're effed. But you know what? This Oddly guy's enough, got you know, you know what I haven't seen though. What I haven't seen much proliferate, so this guy must be a hack. <laughs> I am serious, I kill you. I mean, it's the only possible explanation, right? I'm gonna punch you in the throat. <laughs> I really love that I can actually uh, come here and just play magic. Oh no, see, see. while you guys. <laughs> Really, John? Yeah. Okay, here, here's the thing, John. This, this is why you could be in that community uh, thing, and why you guys could. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> think of it. Think of it like this, okay? If you can play even remotely well with us here, heckling you, man. Uh, what, what is playing with people that are kind of famous, right? Or, or good? I mean. Whatever. I don't have morons yammering in my ear constantly. Yeah. No. Well, although, but if we're not there, then he will play worse because he's so used to having us. You think that's how it'll work, Bob? Uh, there's something that says like if you take a test, you should do it in the same place that you like learn the material. Sure. So I, which but, is which is why I take all of my tests at a strip club. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I just on hot wing night. <laughs> I never learned <laughs> one time hot wing. I look, Bob, you really you take a job. You do tests. not have to study for blood tests. <laughs> <laughs> if they're not yours. <laughs> oh my god! This guy has destroyed us with fact. Yep. Yeah, that uh, would be pro liberate. Yeah, but it's like one of the crappiest pro pro no. cards there is. It is not. Yeah, it totally is. No, this guy did not mean it in terms of pro proliferate. It's yeah. great you because you're proliferate and you're drawing a card. Yeah. Okay, I'm pissed that he's Martin's one seventy nine and not Martini's one seventy nine. Because if he was Truth Martini, we might actually invite him to be part of. We'd our be in group. the same place. Yeah, Truth Truth Martini is a good professional Shake wrestling. Him, not stirred. Uh, Manager, though. The House of Truth is awesome. 
If you if you if you never watch uh, Ring of Honor, and we never check know. it out. It's badass. Okay. Do we overreact to the point? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm liking how we see this. Where we no switch to black. Do I put in a priest and Orn? I what, could see what does the priest and Orn get you? It will get me a defensive early drop. Early ish. His infect is insane. You know, in some ways, I would actually like. You don't think it is? Uh, no, it is, but it's also two a.m. We submit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I also like. Do you want to put in your priest, or do you want I'm putting in the Graxion probe or whatever it is? Getaxion. Gets the Getaxion. Just to. Knowing cycle. what's in his hand and getting an extra card. That's ridiculous. He's I mean he's not doing physical damage to us, the two damage isn't gonna hurt us. Right. Um, no. I what if I'm we just saying. took out something like Razorfield Rhino. Okay. Which we may never get to and doesn't and even play with our seen. we kinda yeah. wish we were golems. And put in the priest in our Fair enough. Alright. I think that is a sound Sound choice. Yeah. And is that sound a whimper? Mm-hmm. If any. <laughs> if magic players whimper in the basement <laughs> alone, <laughs> does it make a sound? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, would you like to play first? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes? And no. No, we keep. Yep. We've got the exile from oh, existence, yeah. yeah. We have our only uh, removal spell. Yep. If we have other removal spells. Just not for artifacts. Waiting for it. Yeah, we got nothing. <laughs> we, leeching bite, I guess, technically is a removal. Yeah, leeching ish. bite. It's removal ish. I'm about to remove myself of this room. Hey, hey he's doing our job for us. Oh, there's a raw wolf we'll never ever do damage with. Because of the zero six wall of death, we could revoke existence on oh, wall. Oh, we could draw a card. <laughs> and just kiss our ass goodbye. Actually, it wouldn't go to the graveyard, so it wouldn't draw a card. But it'll slowly whittle it down. Yeah. Yeah. And it's only an O three wall, so it dies pretty quick. And, he and he's doing may, his he's, he's doing our job for us. He may decide to uh, trade with the Rager. You yeah. could put out your thing and attach it to him. Then he'd be a vigilant five. Yeah, I just think he's going to block with this guy. Yeah. And so it doesn't benefit me. And when this guy dies, it deals right. six damage to each creature it blocked. So we would draw a card. It would kill him anyway. Sure. Um, okay, we could Chrome Steed and hope that we get another artifact. I, I, think I like the Tangle Mantis. Tangle yeah. Mantis. We picked it for a reason. Yeah, I guess on defense, it makes much more sense right. to have something that can actually stop his Rager. Uh, don't care for that thing. Seriously, don't care for it with that thing on it. Yeah, he. Well, yeah, once he starts equipping his blighted and you were effed. Okay. Hmm. So, what we could do mm -hmm. uh, is and, and we could revoke death. existence his cathedral membrane, equip the quarter shield to the rot wolf, okay, and attack. He no longer has a profitable block on that, and if he doesn't slow it down, we infect him instead of he infecting us. But do we gain anything by infecting him? Okay. The, uh, the other thing would be revoking existence on his flare husk, just so he can't attach it to his unblockable dude. Just to buy us turns. Well, yeah. That, that means yeah. instead of a 5, we're on a 10. 
You're you're not wrong. Or we attack with both and see what he does. What he does. Ugh. It's, I don't know. It's it's iffy. I'm just gonna attack. Your balls out. <laughs> And so, no, seriously, put your balls back in. <laughs> because it's unsanitary. I wish I could. <laughs> They're just so big! <laughs> These pants can't contain them. Okay, so we're going to lose our creatures. But yeah, draw a card. That, was, that, was that a good trade? Uh, probably not, but it wasn't the worst trade we've ever had. <laughs> because we've had some doozies. Oh, yeah. Tonight. Yep. And if we revoke existence, his flare husk next turn, assuming that he equips it, he would waste, not waste, but he would use most of his mana. Yeah. Doing that. It's dead well played. But remember, the fallen helps us. Yep. We just don't have any artifacts to bring back. Right. Along with it. Okay. So here. Um, we could a quarter shield and revoke existence. We could priest of Norn and revoke existence. That would probably be a better yep. play. I think we want to revoke that. Oh, whoa, whoa, what happened while I was gone? All sorts of crazy shit. I'll have to go back and watch it. Um, you would be the one. Basically, he instilled infection our vital splicer. I don't know when you left. We also had some blocking and trading. and. <laughs> Uh, a a non-trivial amount of bullshit occurred. <laughs> the blocking, the and, trading, and profit. Yeah, this game's going actually much better for us right now. Yeah, I don't like that he still has a unblockable infector. Right. Was we that, need the we need the whatever call it the uh, the bleaching green, bite. The leeching bite. Mm -hmm. bite would be very helpful. Right yeah. now. On the other hand, having a, the fallen thing. Remember the Fallen, and... Oh, are we going to lose that two mana? Uh, no. Okay. He counters it! Proliferate. Okay, Bob. He had Proliferate. That's a good spell. It, that That is a very good spell. I love that spell. What I love is that he spent it on that, though. But it's because he figured we'll put it on our Mitchell guy. Our Infector. And so then we have a super beefy. Now he is at nine. I didn't realize we had done that much damage. Oh no! We're, well, well, he's done half of it to himself with his right. spells that hurt him. And I remember the fallen can bring back that a quarter shield, right? And something and the splicer. Yeah. Yeah. No, remember the fallen is pretty buff, and he's tapped out. That card that we insulted has turned out to be <laughs> as good as our fans said. Uh, we didn't insult it. We just for, no. we just didn't know how to use yeah, it. Yeah, we, we didn't know. We, uh, it didn't, we didn't really read it. Yeah. I'm not sure. Uh, that's not good. Which that might be insulting to not actually even read a card and write <laughs> it off, but that's like Hot insulting damn the game to that card. <clears throat> If ever we needed to get rid of a card, it was that one. Kinky! Okay. Alright, so what's the play, John? Um, we need to remember the Fallen. And I do. And we want to return the Splicer? Probably. And the quarter shield. Then we need to cast the quarter shield to get him up to 4-4. Four, four. Okay. Um, and do we put out the suture priest? Yeah, probably put out the suture priest. 
Attack with the team. <laughs> team Vertigo! <laughs> and he may, like, double block Jump. the... The golem. Yeah, you're right. But we're getting an infector off, off of his. Off war. Yeah. That's absolutely the way to go. He's down to five. Absolutely. And any creatures he casts, he's losing. He's losing life. Losing life. So yeah. he'll he'll he's got removal though. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. But we have to really get him. But he's a two cards. Yeah. It would still take four turns. I mean... No, no, he, he may he have proliferated. Well, in those cards, you have to keep throwing them out. I mean, you can't... I, he's he's going to have to block with his other infector. Yeah. He's not going to have a choice. So putting this guy out will give us an artifact. And life. Not that he really cares if we have life or not. But. No. But. Okay. And we can attack with the Suture Priest, because if he doesn't block the Chrome Steed, he dies. Right. And then he probably, like, Vapor Snags and... Here comes the removal, though. Let's see where X are. And I can untap that guy. So... Hurt him for his one point. Yep. Sure. Wow. Well, you know. So what does the Deceiver Exarch do? Um, when he comes in, he flash. When he comes into play, you can either untap a permanent or tap a permanent. Okay. He's at. Well, he's gonna have two cards. We have. Oh, man, it's a two close. He still has three. to fight. In fact. Yep. By next round, I think. I think we win next round. Well, it depends on what, what he, he plays. What he can, does because this guy can block one of our two guys. So if you play something else, especially if it's something that... But if we throw the quarter shield... I mean, we put, can we put out the Hysterix? Do we have enough? Yeah, we have yeah. enough. But if we put the quarter shield on something, then that would make it so that it's a little less... I mean, like, we would have more defense. Ooh. But that is actually slow removal. That won't be until his turn... Right. ...that it dies. <laughs> this would be the complaint that people were having about it, why it wasn't a great card. Okay. So we copy the splicer, get one more thing, or do we copy the I wonder if we copy. Steed? I think we would copy a splicer. Right, because we have a better chance of overrunning him. Right. We attack with everything. Absolutely. Because right now he has to Bo spend kill both of his guys. Well, it'll only kill one. That guy's not going to die. That's the thing I don't like. But on the other hand, the guy will not... Uh, you don't have your Norn going. Oh. True. Good There's call. no reason not to. Oh, that's hot. Would it be better to have the Hystrix or to get I a... say put the Hystrix out because if he pulls some funky, we still have that golem sure. in the back or, or, or whatever. I mean, even yeah. if he doesn't have that I mean, and he kills the golem thing somehow, yeah. then... Well, and also there's no sense in showing him that we have the metamorph... In case he wins. Oh, no, because we're going to a third game. Yeah, we're, we're going right. to a third... Well, no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Not no. yet. Uh, but we are hoping to. Well, I think we've got if, this. If we and win, we're going to a third he's game. He's not going to do five infect in, in one round. I would be very he dies next round. surprised if he did. He dies next round. Unless he can somehow geyser us all back into our hands. 
Mm, oh, it's over. Don't have enough for that, but assuming just one card doesn't do something it's real over. sweet. He has to block those two. And he will be exactly as infected as we are. Nice. Okay. Okay. Do I play? Yes. And that? You, yes, you play it and copy the splicer. So we have a shit ton of defenders out there. Oh, counter spell. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Uh oh. The, the Blue Sun Zenith answer. Right. So he did draw four cards, but four cards probably is not going to be enough to save, stop to save his ass. Five creatures. Yeah, to stop the hordes. Yeah. Since he only has to take one point yeah. of damage. Yeah, that's getting pretty rough for him. GG. And we now have two vital splicers, so we can regenerate our golems. Oh, I don't like that. Eh. I mean, he's just drawing more cards. Yep, and he's at a point where even like Caress of Phyrexia would only get him to nine. Nine. Or that. He's gonna try. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. And I say more power to him. But yeah. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Okay, so I, I think technically that was a misplay there. I don't see there's any reason if you if you don't have anything to draw more cards, you don't have anything, why do you continue playing cards? Yeah, the, there is a I mean if you're just going to give it up. showing your hand or showing your deck. Um, yeah, I agree. He should have called it back. If you're if you're going to continue playing after you play stuff. That's one thing. Now, I think he showed it game one. So technically, we knew he had a Nicker Rest. Sure. Right. So that. So it might have been more of like a. Well, and this is how close I was to victory. Yeah. That may be it. It'd be like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm going to see. I'm just going to see what happens. Yeah. I guess. No, I don't want a mulligan. So that's pretty good. Sushi no, Priest early. Having good. their revoke early is good. Mm hmm. Yeah, and get that Suture Priest out right away. Because we do as much damage as we can now until we get the Return of the Fallen or whatever it's called. You know, because he'll eventually kill that Suture Priest. Oh, my God. Igor. Annoying as hell. So, Suture Priest or Revoke Existence? I would say Suture Priest. Because he's going to keep putting people out. We can accept one point of poison. And then revoke it if we want. Hopefully, we draw something cool that will give us other options. Mm -hmm. oh, I know. Blinded agent. No. I know. They're huge. That's why I took three of them in my draft deck. Yeah. Which, by the way, you people are going to love. <laughs> um, it's a good deck. So now do I have to revoke? I think you do. You can't take two around. We can't stop them. And I think you attack with the Suture Freeze. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Because, well... If he's willing to trade, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, and if not, F you. Exactly. Wish we had more of those revoke existences, though. Mm. Like I wish five or six of those, I'd be okay. I wish we had those in Marrow shards, leeching fights, gut shot. Yeah. There's so many things. Choking I wish we fumes. Had. We, we did not take a choking fumes, we probably should have. Oh, he's got us. Oh. Yeah, we're already... Is the sky falling, Bob? No, I'm just saying, that's... Yeah, he has a good start. He's got a good start, and you don't need a good start with an effect. Yeah. Leeching Bite 
would be a table turner. Yeah. 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 No, I would much rather, you know, if we weren't kind of sucking hind tit here, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. What is um, that? Smells good. You can change the target of any spell or ability to it. Whoa. And he's going to dark steel plate it. So. Oh, combo-tastic! Huh. So our leeching bite is effed. Uh, yeah. And we've already used our revoke existence. Yeah. Who knew? Oh, yeah. I've never even seen that card before. I didn't even know that card existed. No, I had no idea. It's become... Um, a stand uh, player in standard because sure. in like Cobblade decks, suddenly players can't actually target you know the creatures that are killing them. Wow, that is combo tastic. Well, you know what? It's a it's a combo bombo. Here here is the thing. As buff as that is. We have so little removal in this deck. True. <laughs> that relatively speaking, you know, whatever. Now, the fact that uh, we're drawing nothing but land is kind of killing us. Yeah. Or the fact that he has, like, indestructible cards. And unblockable infectors. Yeah. Nice. He has a good deck. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's solid. Mm. It's synergistic. Yeah. This, this guy be the turn. built it. Built a good deck. It's very, it's very good deck too. But... Well, there's only so much you can do. Oh yeah, it's a, it, that that right there was the matter of the draw. He's got some good ass cards right up front, and we did not. Mm -hmm. And so he pulled out ahead. Uh, yeah, see that oh, didn't matter. Day late and a dollar short. Yeah. We still do it in case he makes a mistake. But right. he won't. Do we have any other way to remove an artifact? Nope. Uh, we well, literally don't. Chink. No. Uh, I think I'll have it target this instead. What? 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 Huh. I don't yeah. get it. That's why we keep playing. That, uh... <laughs> huh? Because you never know when your opponent will make a huge mistake. You never know when your opponent is more drunk than you are. <laughs> he has one card. But it's he has... Assumed, oh, right? more, he gets yeah. a loose sun Xena. We need to start... Instead of MTGO, we need to... Start like an MTGAA <laughs> for people like us. There are no people like us. Stop <laughs> telling yourself that. I am not alone. <laughs> False hope. <laughs> well, suddenly I don't feel so stupid. And that might be the only time that's ever happened. I'm kind of <laughs> under, I'm kind of comfortable right now. So, how big is his little his what? spell kite? What? Uh, oh four one four one one. So he still is holding the ground well against us. Yeah, yeah. Can we attack him? No. Uh, these two we could attack with. If we attack with this, he could double block and kill it. Uh, Stupid ass like, cathedral. Getting better options all the time. Yeah, but then we would have done six damage to him if he did that. Ooh, okay. kinky. Another relic. Boom. Gets us to a point where we could attack with yeah. everything, and we will probably lose one of those creatures, and I'm not sure we care which one. Except for the Pierce Strider would really kind of suck. Because <laughs> then we're not... <laughs> which is what he'll do. I don't know if, if he will. Who knows? He didn't get the infect thing earlier. I think he might kill the forger, because the forger can't block profitably with either of those. Hmm. 
And these guys, they can't. He's choosing to kill nothing. At huh. this point, yeah. Yeah. But he's probably weighing. Nope. He's or too... he's waiting to kill the rusted relic with that. Or he's like, oh wait, hold on a second. I'm doing this wrong. Or, uh, huh? Yeah. Going for the forger. Which I don't think is a wrong play. But it's not his most effective one. Right. Well, it's not necessarily his most effective one. I would have gone after the pierce strider because I would have dropped a relic out of... Right. Right. Huh. Oh, well, whatever. Well, he has some way to deal with the relic. Well, there's a thousand ways to deal with the relic. Oh. That's annoying. Membrane and... Blind agent. agent. Make their return. We are in trouble. Yeah, we are. I do not know how we get back from this. Well, he's at 11 life. We attack him. Then we attack him again. Then we attack him again, because he's got no force on the board. I know. Yeah. yeah. He'll kill the relic with the cathedral. Right. Um... Oh, that was a terrible time to draw a fucking land. Oh my but goodness. After that, I mean, we do three damage this turn. Yeah. And then, all depending on what he's able to add, now he can put that husk on the agent. So yeah, which is bad. That's going to make... We're on a three-turn clock. A short clock, yeah. Two turns. Two-turn clock. Ooh. Uh, now it's a two-turn clock. Yeah. And he has lots of blockers. Yep. We have no way to bypass it. Wow, good game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we. I thought we had a chance there for a second. Well, yeah, when he didn't... He's only got seven life. I would not say that it is over. It's just not looking good at all. When he didn't do the leeching bite the way that we expected him to. Right. He got very different. Yeah, and that's not going to no. get us there. Well... Yeah, I don't see how that's going to help, but... Yep, and he has us next turn. Yeah. Yep, proliferating, infecting for three. Yep. So, we're dead. Oh, well, what can you do? We, uh, it was a good run. Mm-hmm. I think when it came down to it, we both had really solid decks, and his, I think, his just had more synergy. You see what I mean, though? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, 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 we were light on removal, which we do. Right. And if you can't get rid of a blighted agent. Exactly. What? Well, yeah. I mean, that's that's game. Yep. That's, all, that's all they need. Yep. And. Yep. Good game, dude. Martin Short, 179. Dang it. So we had uh, remember the fall would have been good. Well, Necropede. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been good. We just, we kind of got land flooded there. Yeah, it and is true. But that, you know. Yeah. Well, I, it, I have no happens, complaints about. Nope, we're right, right. Probably the shuffler. Yep. Uh, I'm very happy with that round, actually. Yeah. Uh, I think you won two packs, right? Yep, won two so, packs. Got two rounds out of this one. Yeah. Which, Much more than we thought we would do. Yeah. And would you rather have two good rounds of 4 3 2 2 or three crappy rounds of Swiss Strap? Absolutely. We gave you both this evening. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know what you'd like to see more of in the future. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, as usual, this is Draft Beer. GenerationD20.com. Yes, and be sure to uh, share and like this on the Facebook and the Twitter. Failure to do so will result 
in punishment. Like herpes. Oh, that's a pretty brutal punishment, man. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it. Hepatitis C. Andy. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what? 